All right, today's topic is a is a user user question. I hear it all the time, and it's about fishing rods. What is a moderate action? What's a fast action? What's a medium? What's a medium light? What do I do with it? What do I throw with it? Today, we are going to have Mike Butler from Anglers Anonymous. He's going to weigh in. Mike sells a ton of rods up here: Waterloo, Sarge, Laguna, um, Old 18. There's there's a bunch of good quality rods in here. This video is not about what company is the best rod. No. Uh, if you have something you want to put in the comments about what you like, what you feel, that's great. Keep it respectful. Um, we're here to talk about all kinds of different rod companies. I'm associated with Laguna. Uh, I have friends with Waterloo. They're all great rods. I'm not here to sell you a brand. We're here to tell you about the action and help you decide what you want to buy when you go in the store. All right, so I'm here with Mike. He's the owner of Anglers Anonymous, like we were talking about. Anglers Anonymous just moved to 2,600 square feet. It's in the same shopping center, different building. This place is huge, guys. And the, the best thing about Anglers Anonymous is, is whenever they opened the store, they didn't just you know go down the line and say, let's just order a bunch of stuff. They got with, with myself, a couple other guys. Mike has a place in Port O'Connor. He fishes regularly. When you walk in the store and you have questions, Mike knows the answers to them because he uses the stuff that you're buying. There is nothing in this store that you don't want. Everything in here is good stuff. There's more coming. Um, if you have something that, that you really think is gonna be good and Mike believes in it as well, guess what? It's probably gonna be on the shelf next time you get in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through several different rods. Like I said, Mike sells them. He gets the questions every day. I hear them. I, I learned how to build rods from Laguna. I have all kinds of equipment at the house. I'm pretty well versed in the components, the blanks, all the different stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna talk to Mike here. Now, Mike, somebody walks in the shop and they tell you, Mike, I want a rod that I can throw uh, plastics and top waters with. You know, what should I get? Um, I like to throw a bait caster. What, what would yeah. you say? Well, <clears throat> we started asking questions about price range. How much do they want to spend? Because we have a we have a variety of ranges here. Right. Uh, we don't. We, we want to keep it good quality stuff. Our well, this is a saltwater shop, so we want to make sure our stuff is is durable, uh, and known on the coast. I mean, we, we have a lot of the custom builders here, like Caleb mentioned. Sarge is going to be here soon. We have Waterloo. We have Laguna. We have Old 18 Outfitters. H and H will be in here soon. So we've got some good stuff. Um, so, you know, we ask questions about price range and what actually you're looking for. What do you, how are you going to be fishing? Is this going to be shrimp under a popping cork? Or are you throwing tails or top waters? And because it can get real specialized. And, you know, some guys want one rod to do everything. Well, okay, we can deal with that. They want a rod for throwing tails versus top waters. Okay, we get a couple different actions going. So, so aside, aside from price, we're going we're gonna to stick with the actions here. And, and Mike hit a point there. It is personal preference 100%. Yeah. Now, understanding what you're talking about or what you think you want, you know, that that's a big deal. Myself, I throw rods that are a lot stiffer than a lot of my friends do. Yeah. But so for a tail rod, you know, your common rod is going to be a medium light with a moderate to maybe a fast action. In the summertime, I like a fast action more because that action, what fast means by definition is when that rod bends, how fast does it get back to being straight again? So if you can imagine the rod bending whenever you're working it and then, and then snapping back up, in the summer, that's gonna give that bait a more erratic, darty pattern. Now, in the winter time, I like more of a moderate action so that whenever I work it, that rod's doing this more. So in the winter, when the water's cold, my bait's kind of, is kind of doing more of a wobble like a stunned cold bait would versus the fast, you know, shooting around. That's not gonna look normal in the winter time. So what I have here, this one is a Laguna Solo, Laguna Solo stick, and I'm gonna back up. Hopefully you're gonna be able to see this on camera. So this rod is a medium light with a fast action. So you can see how quick that tip bends over right here. So the fast action means that it's, it's firm up through here, and then the action is down on the tip. So like I was talking about, when that rod loads up, it's the, just the tip of it's whipping versus the whole blank giving it that. It, this rod is going to be great for plastics. I know a lot of people throw top waters and whatnot with it. It's going to it's going to be more work to work a top water because that this rod that medium light action is a softer action. So you're having to move your hand more and more and more to load and unload that top water and make it walk. So this to me is going to be a great plastic rod. Now whether it's a $350 Laguna or you know a $150 Salinity liquid that doesn't really matter to me as long as the action is doing what I want it to do. 
So you move on to wanting to throw a top water, something a little bit heavier. Mike, this one is a Waterloo carbon mag. Yep. Okay, this one is a medium with an extra fast tip. So it's got a lot more stiffness through here. That's where the medium comes from. The extra fast tip, you're still gonna have that, that, that like the solo I just showed you, the tip action is still gonna be out here. That's where your flex is. You're not getting a lot of flex through here. But since this is stiffer and this load is loading up and unloading faster, now whenever you're working a top water, maybe even a corky, something like that, now this is about the only action that you're gonna to have to give it to, to work that top water because as you do it, all of the energy in your wrist is traveling throughout the rod. The rod's not bending and absorbing it. Yeah. So- That bait's uh, moving right now. Right, <laughs> it's moving right now. Again, in the, in the summertime, it's gonna be darting and shooting a lot more. In the wintertime, we're gonna throw in corkies and stuff like that. You know, we're gonna to go to a more moderate, but we'll cover, we'll cover the wintertime rods when, when wintertime comes around. But this, this, and this is the first time I've ever held a Waterloo Carbon Mag. It feels pretty good. They're nice rods. I don't hate very it. Very nice. It's very nice. <laughs> now, onto my, onto my fishermen that throw the spinning rods. Again, this one is a medium light with a moderate fast action. So I've showed you two fast actions. This one's the medium light, so it's still, it's gonna be a lighter through here. But up here, you can see you've got a lot more, a lot more bend in the rod. The last two, Oh, the last two kind of just gave you this action. This one being a moderate fast is gonna load all the way through it. Again, to me, that this, this rod's gonna be a plastics rod, uh, maybe smaller stuff, miradines, whatnot. Yeah, small top waters, that sort of yep. thing. Uh, a lot of people like to throw the, the um, popping corks with the spinning rod, and, and I love it too. Again, personal preference, but for me, with this much bend in the rod, I'm having to really crank it to pop the cork, and then whenever that cork goes under, I have to reel down and stutter step it to get that line tight and, and, and give it the action that it needs. Oh. Okay, moving on. Now, Mike, I'm sure you get a lot of people in here that are wanting to throw bait, cut bait, Correct. stuff like that. Yep. Uh, what kind of rod do you typically try to sell those people? It's going to be a medium to a medium heavy. Okay. A heavier We're rod. going that direction. Yes. Okay. We go with heavier action than that. You're typically your payload is bigger with you got a popping cork. If you're throwing cut bait, you're probably going to have a half or a three quarter ounce sinker or something like that on it, depending on how you're fishing the bait. Right. So you, you want something with some with some some rear end in it. Yeah. Okay. So the family channel. You yeah. want some rear end in it. <laughs> yeah. um, this is a Laguna 7.6 medium heavy. So this guy is gonna be real stiff through here. It's still gonna have the action here on the tip. Now, I exclusively throw popping corks with this rod. Um, I like the spinner because I can open the bell and I can wing that popping cork out as far as, I, as far as I want to with as much power as I want to. I don't have to worry about my baitcaster backlashing, anything like that. But this rod, it's got the medium heavy at seven six, so it's long enough I can really load it and send it. The medium heavy part of it, Whenever I pop the cork, my action is just this. And it doesn't matter how far that cork is out there, since this thing's heavy with a fast tip, it's loading up and, and cranking it. Now, when the cork goes under, I take a couple reels down, and when I'm right here, there's so much power in this blank that the hook's already set and done, versus if you're trying to throw a medium light or a medium or something like that, then you have a lot more ground to cover. Yeah. So this thing's gonna set the hook right now, and it's, it's there's really, to me, like you said, bait, popping corks, anything like that, uh, a medium to a medium heavy yep. with, a, with a nice fast action in it. Yep. Okay. Yep. It's got the backbone when you set the hook, it's happening right now. So. All right, and the last one we're gonna cover, so we've covered the medium lights with the fast tips, we've covered the medium lights with the moderate to fast, and we've covered the, the medium heavy and the different spinners. This one here is the Laguna seven foot medium. Now to me, this is the ultimate all-around rod. Yeah. You have seven foot, so it's not a real short wading rod. It's not a real long boat rod. It's easy to manipulate. My eight-year-old throws this seven-footer all the time. Um, with the medium action, I can do anything I want. I can throw plastics, I can throw tops, I can throw corkies, I can, th I can throw popping corks if I want to. Um, this rod, I have about five of them in the boat. They never leave. The reason that I, that I really, really like it is it's got a good stiff action through here, but the tip is still pretty soft. It's, I mean, I would give that a fast to maybe a moderate fast tip. The reason I really like that is 
even though the rod's stiff, the tip will still load up and let me really cast something. And then whenever I set the hook, all this power is gonna transfer to the fish. I can, I can fight the fish as hard as I want to. I'm not worried about, you know, whether it's a 12 pound redfish or a two pound trout, I'm, I'm not worried about, you know, breaking the rod, anything like that. It's just gonna be a great all around rod. So in my opinion, the perfect all around rod is gonna be a medium with a fast action. That's the rod. If you wanna come in and spend some money on one rod, then a medium fast action is going to do just about anything you want. And then when you want to get into your niche rods, you want to get into your rods that are specifically for soft plastics, specifically for super spooks, then you can come in, buy that second, that third rod that's the medium light with the, you know, the different action or the, you know, the medium with the moderate action. So that being said, we just, we just really wanted you to hear the, the, the answers to the questions that we're asked daily. You know, what's a medium light mean? What's a medium? What's a moderate fast? What is all of these terminology out there? You know, uh, number one uh, number one question you get asked, Mike. Yeah, it's what, is, what does medium mean? What does fast mean? And those are those are the questions we get most frequently that are, it's, it's technical terminology in a manner of speaking, but folks need to know that when they're looking for a rod. Yeah, it's, so. gonna, it's gonna save you a lot of heartache, a lot of time, a lot of money, you know, I, I have, I've seen the I've seen your house. I mean, <laughs> yeah. wads of rods like this. Now let, let me throw let me throw something on you. Being a guy that has sat in many a booth for many of year selling a rod, you walk into the booth, you pick up the rod, you're all guilty. I'm guilty. <laughs> you're guilty. You know you're guilty. You walk in, you go. Oh man, how does that feel, guys? That is not giving you the action of this rod. There's there's no load on it. Yeah. So when when you see the the professional rod builders, whether it be Jimmy Burns, Chris Williamson, Sarge Upchurch, any of them, they're going to take the rod, they're going to sit the bottom of it, and they're going to put it down on their foot where it won't bend this way. Okay? They're going to grab the rod and they're going to bend it here to feel the action. You can feel the weight and the resistance of the rod pulling against you. You can see where the bend is. This is how you tell what a rod's action is. This. It doesn't work. It does. You're wasting your time. The I'm, the rod builders. They're giggling at you while you're doing it. Now you can take a, a small plastic and and put it on the end. You know, like a worm tail or something, and that's going to give you some weight and help you out. But if you're just walking around, you want to know how does this rod load? How does it feel? Stick it down by your foot. Bend it there. It's going to give you a good basis to go off of. That rod builder is going to look at you and say, "Okay, this guy. This guy knows knows what he's talking about. He means business." He's gonna walk over to you, help you out. So there is a, a pro tip from both a fisherman, a rod builder, a rod salesman, all that stuff. So Mike, correct. thank you so much for being here. Very welcome, we appreciate you coming. Yes, the, the store, it's, it's awesome, it's great. I can't wait for the soft opening tomorrow. I'm told it's not a grand opening, they're gonna have giraffes and fireworks later apparently. Yeah. Tomorrow, door's gonna be unlocked. That's what a soft opening is, I'm told. So, so there it is. There's different rod actions. Hope it helped you. Hope it, hope it cleared up some of the haze. This is Mike Butler. This is Anglers Anonymous, and we will catch you on the next one.